welcome back to the channel. This is Ego Kitten 7770 back with another episode of my Escape from Mars scenario series. Um, last episode I finished neutralizing the base. This episode I'm going to try to get a thing out of the ground. My episode came out a bit late because I was dealing with some stuff some personal stuff yesterday that got in the way I couldn't concentrate or focus so I'm here now I'm getting the episode knocked out life happens you can't always control it actually I don't know when you can ever control it turkeys almost completely ready to go there's a few bits of armor still missing I figured out how the nose cone goes um, I don't know if I got the hot bar fully set up to how it was. It should be close enough. The battery's on the second toolbar. The, um, everything else is right on the first bar. I will be using this rear gate for the first time since installing it. Before I just did an open and close test, this will be the first actual time I will be flying through it. Hmm. I see more damage on Watermelon. Oh, oh no, it's not damage, it's just the way the armor sits for the camera. But that beam is definitely bent. If I remember, I'll fix that. Oh boy. I might run out of daylight before I'm done with this extraction. My camera speed is almost the exact the exact speed at which the fan blades spin. Interesting. I've noticed that before. Bonk. Not as flat as it looks. It looks flat. Well, the color's flat, but the terrain obviously isn't. This was the rover I found in a hole. Which, it's remote block. I, I don't know what was up with this thing. Suspensions are fully constructed. It's just there's It honestly it looks like it's been sitting here for a while Maybe this happened maybe this was The last crew that was here just fell in the hole and abandoned this thing. I don't know Those are projectors. I thought those were warheads. Shows how much I used that block. Um, I have Filmora 14 now, and it has something weird with the mic. If I talk loud enough, even though the mic setting is turned off in the recording, it will turn on and record something briefly. I haven't figured out how to turn that off in Filmora yet. Um, Filmora 14 is also heavy on the AI components, which I have no idea how to use. I'm 
basically, I'm using the most basic of the functions in Filmora. There are so many things in Filmora I haven't touched because I don't know how to use. And I'm pretty sure that a bunch of these blocks are actually in the voxel, even though they don't look good. I might have to cut off these two little pieces down here to get this thing out, but I will try to put it into ship rather than station. There's a 60% chance this won't work though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Let's find everything that's in the ground. Oh. I'll go back to it. Oh, you. Yeah, you're in the ground. It needs to show white on the outline. white on the outline that it's not on the ground. Oh right, it's in station, that's why it's not falling. There. Oh! Um, that's the battery. them with the grid. How I'm going to attach them? Or where I'm going to attach them? I do not know. I don't even know if I could build these things. I will take them though. It's difficult. Okay. The projectors are an orb when most everything else is a block. That's why the projectors can roll like they do. They're basically a ball. So putting a flat edge on them tends to make them go a bit straighter. But as long as the projector is down, it will catch and roll. It's a very troublesome block to be kicking around. And point given, it just rolled over. As long as it's on the flat side, then it's not gonna spin like that. Oh, um. Hmm. How can I do this? Oh, okay. Oh, really? You're not gonna flip over, are you? <sighs> Do the hard way. What? And... Yeah. They were sphere. And they do weird physics. I just want them out of the way, so I'm not gonna crush them. I think I'm good. That's white, white. Alright. This should drop now. And if it doesn't, I'll have to cut some more. Yeah, there we go. Of course, I just made the wind turbines useless. I wonder how heavy this grid is. Gonna drop some stuff off to watermelon. I really wish the scrap and stone would have stayed behind at the station. 
but Izzy's kept pulling it. <sighs> Suppose when I go back, I could try putting a sorter on the base. Or a series of sorters. I'll figure something out. Watermelon's so heavy that I'll be returning to the base sooner than expected. I believe watermelon's at. It's new. It's flat. It's uh. As long as watermelon is stationary, it's getting enough charge. But that's a slow charge. I think driving there's like four hours remaining on watermelon, which isn't enough, and that block's not high enough. I'm gonna hit the wind turbine, aren't I? Yep. There's still armor I need to replace on Turkey, it's just, I got it to the point where it's actually functional. Every bit of weight helps. Let's see, 45,700 and basically 22 kilograms. Oof! So let's see. Nine hundred. I'll round that to a fifty-two. Subtract what I had before, and that's roughly a hundred and seventy-five thousand kilograms heavier than Turkey. And oof, I am struggling to get this thing out of the hole. I think this is as about as heavy as the front half of the ship was. Question is, am I going to be able to stop before I hit the ground? See, when I let off the thrusters, it starts picking up speed downward. Nope, 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 nope. I can't stop it. Ooh. I'm just gonna let it go before I flip. <sighs> Something broke. I won't know what until I land Turkey. What did I forget to cut off that's made it angle like that? Oh, right. I forgot about those low pits. And also the uh, back is bigger than the rest. I kind of did that to myself. up there. What is that block? Huh. I don't recognize what... Well, that almost crushed me. Once it lays flat, I'll be able to... Oh, there's where the damage is at. Nope, missed the block I was supposed to hit. Not too bad. I mean, it's still intact. 
well, once I, it won't be once I chop it apart. I'm not going to take it in this, I really only need the thruster section and the battery. The rest, oh, and I'll possibly keep the survival kit. The rest I can just grind down. Right here's the best where to cut it. Oh, G Corp does own some of these blocks. So this was another G Corp rover. Interesting. Must have been here much longer than the other one. What's with them crashing rovers in holes? Am I gonna find more crashed in a hole? Really the only thing I need is this thruster pod and the survival kit. The rest can go. It's only three, but it's three more than what I had. Okay, I can make that. Missing a good chunk of its components. Clunk? What went clunk? Where was that? I thought about maybe grabbing that whole chunk, but I realized I can make every block that's on that chunk except for the survival kit. And that's probably what I'm grind gonna grind it down to. I don't know if I can build blocks that aren't even... I'll find out. Alright. Can I? No, I cannot. Mm. Inventory Whoops. Sold. Uh, well, <laughs> some of those components went through the voxel. They'll despawn. Eventually. I think. Can't build that either. Hmm. I know I can't build you. Can't even hack you. If it wasn't for the lights on Watermelon, I wouldn't be able to see it. Let's see, it's three blocks by three blocks. And this is a five by five section. If I put it right in the middle, I could fit a large grid inside of a large grid. My only worry is did I drop enough weight off this thing, and I also don't want to damage the projector, which is precariously... Energy critical. Thank you, Mabel. I was not looking at my... Oh, man, I painted the uh, connector with the wrong color. Uh, I could go in the med bay, but Turkey's right here, so that's where I'll go. Once I turn my headlights off. Not gonna get a full charge, just some. Flying in this weather is gonna be nigh impossible. We're getting flying, I can barely see. Lights. 
Oh, that's right. Most of the spotlights got shot off. Hmm. And I still haven't fully re Why didn't the spotlight I repaired turn on? Did I not fully weld it up? Oh, you know what? I might not have. I don't remember fully welding it up. Alright. Which way is this not gonna fa fall over backwards? Oh. Thought that red dot was closer than I thought it was. Power kit shipment. Not important. Much lighter. It's only about... It's less than 30 kilograms. Won't be struggling to carry this anymore. I will, however, struggle to see what I'm doing. No? Actually, I can... I can see where the door is at. I just can't see that one corner. The middle bit is the... Control... Is the cabin area. So this dark spot will be where I need to go down at. tell me I'm not going to hit turkey's nose on the top of watermelon. I just repaired that nose. Is it going to be my downfall? Might have to drop it. Yep. I hit nose. Ooh, that did not sound good. I don't think anything exploded. It was straight and then it fell over. I need to check the mag plate. Please don't. Please tell me you didn't break. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Please don't be. Slag. I broke it. There's a, a significant dent in Watermelon's armor. I don't want it auto-locking at a weird angle. It could technically lock, but I do not want those thrusters pressed up against Watermelon's armor. Glad I fully welded this. Congratulations, past self. And I'm risking a lot being right here with a grid that's not locked down. Did I damage the battery? Surprisingly, no. Oh, right. Heavy armor versus light armor. Yeah, I didn't think that went through. As long as I can write it, I, this position will still work.
but to write it, I would have to get it on a one by one section flat for it to be balanced correctly. I mean, it's possible. Oh boy. Come on. I don't have much uh, forward thrust, so this is fighting me. That should be good. I realize watermelon's not fully leveled, so this might not work. Nope, just went right back to where it was. In fact, I think the angle's a little worse now. Alright. More weight on the front it is. Really? Still not enough? Oof. It's leaning. Come on. There we go. Ooh, my door. And yes, I had to weld. I had not weld. Grind down the mag plate since it was in a bad spot. If I put a mag plate here, will it lock to my armor? No. Alright. Yeah, I figured that wasn't going to work. It was worth a shot, though. Connecting a landing gear to a mag plate has never been a good s situation for me. Um, I would prefer to be able to nudge it over. Could I possibly nudge it over? Not even close. Please don't clang. Please don't clang. Please don't clang. No clang. Please no clang. I'm locked. Oh god. Thank you clang. Thank you for not destroying Turkey. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to push my luck any further. I'm just going to park Turkey. I'll use Sprout to get the other, uh, bits. Actually, if I merge block these smaller bits still in the crater, I can get them out in one, one load. And only need one mag plate to attach them. First, I need to get Turkey in a position where I'm not going to crush the nacelle with the door. Actually, I don't think I could crush it with the door. Not unless I swing way far over like it's that. to say Turkey is in the most awkward bit of positions. And I'll, yes, I'll fix the columns since I noticed it. I have no idea how long that's been damaged. That was a deeper sound than usual. Maybe it's because I'm further away.
Um, now I need a place to put them. Since the other space is occupied, I'll have to put them, I guess, on top of the med bay. It's the next flattest spot I have. I'll also grab a couple of merge blocks. Did I grab enough for two mag plates or one? gyros on the same level. So I need to flip some of these. Or I could just merge them like they are. I don't really want to, though. It's close. This might go poorly for me. You're so close. You're so close. No! Ah. Convoy dispatch. Delivery 23380. Mm. Well, that sucks. It was so close. Why did I do that? Now I'm gonna chase it down. <sighs> I also have no idea what orientation these drivers are in. Up, down, sideways, diagonal. I won't know it until I build them, but I can't build them because I don't have the technology. How do I build something that I can't weld up by hand? A grid welder. Where am I going to put a grid welder? Well, technically I do have the... E I do have the laser drill slash welder. Okay. Those two took me far longer to get together than I wanted to, it took me almost a full 10 minutes just to get him to lock. Oh, why'd you... Why'd you roll over? I could have possibly welded it up with... but then there's the issue of how much power that laser mod 
blip, 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 that laser multi tool uses. Did I say grid? I meant power. How much grid that multi tool uses makes no sense. How much power it uses makes more sense. That's what drained watermill in the first place. I shouldn't be using my multi-tool unless I have a reactor or wind turbines connected. Hmm. You know, I could potentially get this if I just change the orientation a bit. Now I don't have to try to spin it. Energy low. Because spinning it hasn't worked. Yes, Mabel, I realize my energy is low. Don't fall over. Ooh, um, if I back off, it's gonna fall. Alright. Now I can just grab Sprout and pick these up. I'll probably modify Sprout a bit. I'll have to. I'll come back for you guys. Let's see. There it is. Yeah, small grid welder. And it switched to large grid. Why? Why are you like this? Stop. Get some help. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. I gave in to my inner thoughts. Or gave into my intrusive thoughts, whatever that one is, how that's saying. I think it's giving it, yeah, giving into your intrusive thoughts. It, it sometimes slips in. I try to keep it out of my episodes, but I just, it just, it just pops in there. I can't help it, it just, it just popped in. What popped in, Ray? Uh. Okay, I'm starting to have a little too much fun. There. Now that it's lower to the ground, it will be easier to weld things without knocking it with the drill. And of course, Sprout is full of stuff. This happens every single time. Easy uses sprouts as free cargo space. That's another thing I have to fix. I've got to find a way to get this cargo to stop going into sprout. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to run out of time. So, take care everyone. I'll see you next time. I have enough time to turn off the assemblers which are eating power and yeah I'll see you next time bye and take care everyone